Hello! Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today we're going to learn about optics. In the last couple of weeks, we've talked a lot about light. We've talked about light itself. And light inside electronics. I mean, light is very important. Without light, we would not survive on this planet. Now, what is optics? Optics is the study of light and the machinery used to study light. Scientists use optics when creating glasses or contacts. Expelliarmus! Anyways, back to the subject. Subject at hand. Oh, I just love magic! Now, we're going to talk about two features of light that we haven't talked about yet on this channel. Light can reflect and refract. Reflection means that light will bounce off something. Refraction, on the other hand, means that light will change its speed and direction when traveling in a new medium. An example of reflection is a mirror. A mirror can reflect an object. And make an illusion. But how do mirrors reflect objects? Light hits everything. Me? You? Huh? What? The phone or computer you're watching? Who? Light actually hits everything. 20 minutes of daydreaming later. If you were standing in front of a mirror, Light would hit you and then immediately hit the mirror. Light hits the mirror at an imaginary line called the normal. When light hits you, it absorbs certain properties. These properties hit the mirror, and the mirror translates them into an image. An image in science is a picture created by light. Now let's talk about the law of reflection. The law states... Light will bounce off at the same angle as it is traveling. Before light hits an object, the angle it is at is called the angle of incidence. After bouncing, the angle light is at is called the angle of reflection. Light will always be at the same angle after reflecting off a regular mirror. For example, if light hits a regular mirror at 60 degrees, light would bounce off also at 60 degrees. There are three types of primary mirrors, flat, concave, and convex. The first mirror, a flat mirror, is a normal mirror with a normal reflection. The second mirror, concave mirrors, are shaped inward, which allows light to bounce inward. From far away, your reflection in the concave mirror is reversed. From close up, your reflection in the concave mirror is larger than your actual face. The last type of mirror, a convex mirror, is shaped outward. This allows light to bounce away from the mirror. A convex mirror is smaller than what it is reflecting. The point light passes through each other is called the focal point. Scientists use these three mirrors and the study of the focal point in eyewear and other optical inventions. Optics is very important. Microscopes, telescopes, glasses, binoculars, and other inventions wouldn't be here today without optics. Using the law of reflection, scientists have figured out how to change physics. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications below to keep up with more amazing content. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.